So hey everyone, it's me again, Ramses, for another Let's Ram. Um, I was gonna play Maximum Carnage this week again. Well, not again, but uh, I was gonna play it, but I forgot. I I, I don't wanna play one Final Fight clone, but um, I figured eh, I play. I wanna play something else to spice up variety. So I figured I'm playing right now the not the official version of well, not it is the official version. This was this was the previous release. Not the HD release of Resident Evil 4 instead, because that's something I've been playing a lot of in my downtime. So, I guess that's what we're going to run with for today. Just uh, another Resident Evil. Not another one. It's been a long day for me, folks. I've been doing stuff, so, yeah. So, I'm basically going to. I'm going to play Resident Evil 4. That's, that's, that's my choice for the game this week. And, um,. You're gonna see in the file that I'm playing that I'm kind of far into the game, like really far into the game. So, um, let's see, let's see where this leads. Let me just turn on the mixer here and turn up the volume just a bit on the game itself. But turn it up. it's right here. Anyways, um, so here we go. Let's start. Let's start the game. Turn the volume over. Let's see if I can turn up now. Okay. And okay, so that's pretty good. They told me I've been having they've been having problems listening to me. So let's see. Talking right into the mic. No, that's not gonna be enough. Uh, let's go to. Recording levels. Let's see how this sounds. How do I sound now? Oof, too much. All right, let's try this one really quick. So, all right, let's try this. Let's see how this works. All right, so let's go. Let's do this. I can see this is from the original release. You're about to see why it's from the original release when I start the game up. This game's been modded to hell and back because, well, it kind of needs to be modded nowadays to make it work well. And there's that Ubisoft logo. Oh, uh, here we go. I didn't put the patch though to get the HD um, HD movies. It's, I, I think at this point. Just having HD, everything else is just good enough. So I'm pretty far into this main game right here, and you'll see why in a minute. Why I'm kind of far. So this is my file that I'm working with right now. I've been playing this game for five hours, give or take. But this is kind of a borrowed file, if you say, because I just wanted to get the game already beaten so I can get some of the stuff I want. In this case, I just wanted to get the Chicago Typewriter. And also, uh, just so I can buy, so I can buy the grenade, so I can buy the the infinite launcher as well. So, uh, so let me take. So I don't know how long. I'm, I may just to the end of this part of the game. I, I'm gonna be. I guess my cutoff time. But um, yeah, Mike's. This is one. This is one hell of a game. I'll tell you that much. I love this game so much. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I think it ranks to my. Strikes is one of my favorite Resident Evil games and one of my favorite games, period. It's just so awesome. Um, so yeah, this game, like, there's really not really much else to say other than this game's amazing, so... If you haven't played it before, you're missing out. I, I say this is still one of my favorite games to play, and this is one of my favorite games to, like, replay. Hmm. This guy right here. So... So, I, what's the way of starting this conversation about this game? I played the other Resident Evil games, obviously, and then, then, then yeah, I was I was hyped for Resident Evil Four, and, but it was just Resident Evil Four kind of just Kate just took me by surprise. It really did. Like I didn't expect this game to be this good. So, yeah, I mean that it's. It's a great game. And here's Verdugo. 
Where the hell is it? Is it in here I get to find them? I'm not gonna get any ammo. I already bought everything I need, so I'm just gonna skip everything. Yeah, as you can see, I also modded it so I can actually. So I can actually uh, uh, map it to my 360 controller, so. I don't actually have a 360. It's actually one of those things where I have a 360 controller, but not the actual 360. I only have this 360 controller for the game, for PC games mainly. This is good enough. Pull this lever down. Go wait until let until this shit starts up. So four minutes, four minutes, but now I activate that. Now I get to fight this guy. Well, this isn't working, so time for me to use my rocket launcher then. It's been a while. I've actually never played this game with like all the the, the buffs like this. Usually, I play this game out until I actually beat them with all the stuff, but. But um yeah as far as like I like I said I never played this game from this like from this point with all the with all the cool stuff like you know the weapons all the cool weapons I find the game more entertaining to play with all the weapons especially when you get to the island because it's like with all the with all the with all the crazy ass weapons you get in that that in the island it's like it's, it's it, I think like it just makes for a more enjoyable experience even though like fighting large hordes of enemies with it is actually pretty cool, but it's just this is there at the island. You're fighting so like such like hard enemies. It's like so getting to that point is like it's awesome. Like just fighting off bad guys with it, fighting off all the um, bad guys with the, with all the cool weapons. So yeah, it's like Resident Evil 4 just took me by surprise. I didn't expect to really enjoy this game. I thought it was gonna be like, eh, whatever. It's another Resident Evil game. So it was starting to get to that point where it was just like, how nowadays we, Resident Evil is just viewed as like a whatever game because of well, because of games like Resident Evil Revelation. Well, not Revelation. Resident Evil 6 is what killed it. Actually, 5 would kill it for me. But yeah, Resident Evil 4 uh, came out what 2004? Really? Oh my god, 10 years. Oh my god, it would be ten years to go. I came out it came out it uh, came out at something that around that time and this game just freaking froze. It seems oh, never mind. That Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Mm. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, Sup, guy that we barely get introduced. Dispose of this swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Salazar. Sadler. Jack Krauser. I thought the game froze, but oh well. It's good that it didn't freeze, thank god. So. I think this is, I think this is gonna get to the knife fight. That's actually kind of a cool part of the game. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. But I should know this. I actually beat the game just recently on the play on the PlayStation Three. This and talk to this guy. See what he wants. Actually, let's get some bells. Welcome. Got a selection of good things. What are you selling? 
Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna keep all the grenades because, like, there, there, there are times when grenades actually work to your favor, but other than that, eh, I'm pretty good. Uh, I think I'm not gonna save. I'm gonna just tough it out. See how far I can make it with this with this game. Well, I got one death. I think it was an accidental death, but uh, okay. Now I know where I am. Be a dick here. Blow these guys up. But what I like is that this game just bucks the normal Resident Evil. It really does. Like this is like this is the like some of the other games try to buck the buck the trend with a lot of things, but I think Resident Evil, I think Resident Evil Four just was like that that game that that did it right the first time. It was like the right game at the right time, and um, it's it it was, it, it was a perfect sum of everything that was right about this game. Um. So what else is there to see? Okay, so sorry, sorry, I got a message from my um Twitter going off. Um, so I think I learned first learned about the scheme back well when everybody else learned about the scheme like a few years, like th that during that developmental period of the game. I remember see I remember hearing a lot about the game and how cool it was gonna be, and you know. I played Cold Veronica, that was pretty cool, but I think I, I think like I think I wasn't starting to get tired per se, but I was starting to wonder like what else can they go with Resident Evil and the way they the way they took a few things was kind of interesting. I'm happy that they went the way that they did with Resident Evil. Guy just blew up. Oh, the mines. I hate the mines so much. No wonder I forgot about this part of the game. Isn't there a chainsaw guy around here also? They send them and those guys up at one point. So he had an explosive. Ow, that hurt. So I gotta go back down here. Can I pull them all up right here? Let's see. So if you're wondering why I'm not really talking that much, because this game's so awesome. Like, I just want to play this game all the time. Um, I'm trying to figure out things to talk about about this game. It's just like everything just leads back to the fact that this game's awesome in more ways than one. And like, there's just like there's not too many games I can actually say that do this. A lot of people are like, a lot of people will say otherwise, but I don't care. Well, I, I mean, I do care, but it's just like, it's like, I don't care what they have to say, because the people that usually say it, I don't know, they don't, uh, not to say they don't have poor taste or anything, it's just, mm, I don't know, it just doesn't, like, this isn't like, you know, I wouldn't take their advice as serious, as much as they want to be serious about, like, their opinions about stuff, but, um, other than that, like, I grew up with this game. I would say, like, I wouldn't say grow up, but I, like, the later half of my life, like, I want to say from 2000, um, 
from like this from this game since so right now it's been I think I played this game a few times already to make to know like actually I'm I'm doing a poor job at still knowing where to do but um it's mainly because it's like I think I I've I play so many games it's like I forget where things are sometimes what's even a few of these games but um. Anyways, what was the point? Oh yeah, the point. The point was... The point was... I play this game a lot. Hell if I can remember how to play this game correctly, but I remember how to play this game very much. And I knew there was a chainsaw guy here. It's because they give me all this space to just take him out. Oh, there you are. This goes down. And let's see, what was it supposed to do afterwards? Dynamite does something. I think I put it into a puzzle and that's how I beat it. But not here because that's all I think this is all puzzles here for right now. So let's get out of here. So I guess I can I guess I can talk a little bit about like my relationship with the Resident Evil franchise period, like how I felt about the entire franchise. Stand right now. I don't usually fight these guys together, that's the thing. I usually I usually just tough it out and not even fight them together, but What the hell? I've never seen Leon do the action before. The whole tipping of the fedora thing? I've never seen him do that before. And usually, like I said, usually in this room right here, I usually kill one of these guys before I. I usually kill. I usually throw one of them off the. I just threw him off the, with a, into a lava pit, but I don't know why today I decided to fight him. I'm out of my element. I'm out of my lead. So yeah. yeah, it's all this sort of been, like with a more elaborate battle, but oh. Well. Okay, so that's how you do it. I pressed A and B together, so I don't know how that button layout would work if you're playing it on like PlayStation or on the GameCube, but 
if you just point and you press these two buttons, he does. He's being a cool guy. I I'm sorry if I, if, I, if this is something that it should have already been known, but uh, yeah, this is the first time I figured this out, so this is kind of awesome. So let's see. Okay, I'm doing pretty good so far. Uh, I'm trying to figure out like what's a good place to stop with this video because I kind of don't want to go through the entire. I don't want to just go through the entire thing and that thing just popped out of nowhere. Again, this is like. I know it's like I'm very silent about, like, very quiet about a lot of things. I should not be. It's not the time to be silent, when, especially when you're doing these kind of videos! Okay, is there a hive? Or is that all the way in the top? I remember this being a lot harder in the. I was playing when I, but I don't have the even right now this game this part of the game is really hard without the Chicago even with the Chicago typewriters this mission is so hard. Fucking flies. Yeah, this place is a nightmare when you first play through when you don't have all, all your things upgraded. Is it up there that they come out? Let's see. Like I said, it. I, I remember stuff, yet I don't remember stuff at the same time. It's quite sad, really. I should be more. I should remember more about this game, such as how many times I beat it, but I'm pretty sure other people beat it more than I did. Especially in my inner circle of friends and stuff, but. It's just so hard. Oh, yeah, there you go. More of those flies. Because the thing is, I don't want to stay here for too, too. I don't want to stay here for too long doing this. This is why you need the. Chicago typewriter because you need to get through a lot of this type of stuff like quick I knew that was gonna happen. Oh well. Hopefully, I don't start to be too far from the. Okay, that's not bad.
Damn it! I was doing so good also with, with this. So this is like, what, death number three of the ending? I, I guess I... I guess just so, so I won't be so quiet, I guess I can, I can talk a little bit about the... about my experience with Resident Evil. Like, what I thought about the entire series as a whole. You know, it's a great series, and I remember that was actually one of, this was one of the very first PlayStation games I actually was legitimately excited for. I remember seeing, like, Game Fan and stuff like that, they were talking about the game, and I was like, okay. I'm down with this, and it was like, uh, yeah, I, I got a PlayStation later for games like Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid One, and also um, Final Fantasy and stuff like that. But I guess the main crux of all of this was that um, was Resident Evil One. I remember Resident Evil One just blew my mind that uh, such a game can exist. Where it's like, it felt like a, it felt like a movie. So let's see. And it looked like it looked like a movie and everything. I think I'm supposed to stop right before that. One. That's the whole idea of all of this. But um, yeah, I remember I was really excited to see this game. So I didn't get Resident Evil One because like I, all my friends had Resident Evil One and I played it with them. I guess the first one I ever played, like, every first one I ever owned was Resident Evil 2, and that was like. <sighs> it's just a montage of death here, so. Bear with me. So. I mean, Resident Evil 1 was. was phenomenal because of that, but. Um. Resident Evil 2, I think, was like. was, was, was the one first one I ever brought. I didn't play Resident Evil 1. And um I thought it was great. I've I've owned I've owned one since. Let's go trick to this. Stop in the middle one. Middle one is even there's mm. so I, I I got to play that I got to play that when I Maybe it'll later. I I, I want to play. I I have played through Resident Evil Three, and I was about to beat it, but I just never could beat it. It was I was it was one of those games where I was on the cusp of beating it, but I could never. But I can I could never do it. There has to be a reason why that one's. Going. It's been so long since I've actually done this. I don't remember this puzzle. Also, that's gonna be the the main conversation about all this. Like, I don't remember how to do all this. I bet you this is where I ranked a lot of deaths. Also, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, how could I have been that stupid? This game is idiot proof if you're not paying attention. Uh, maybe I'll see if I can make it all the way up to, um... Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Uh, maybe another chapter or so, and then I'm gonna call it quits for right, for right now. I think I've already I realized I spent 15 minutes trying to get to that puzzle. And I'm like, ugh, I kinda wanna get, I kinda don't wanna, I don't wanna overwhelm you guys with, um, I don't wanna overstay my welcome with a lot of these, with all these, um, videos, so. I figured, eh, eh, like, I don't wanna take too long with them, so. Um, combine. Hey! Isn't there one more missing? 
complete crown with all those things. Eh, interesting. It's a letter from Ada. Letter from Ada. What's the part has his name in possibly? Alright, fair enough. I don't need to speak to you just yet. And this is a really hard place to go through because these guys just ambush you all over the place, so this is if the if I didn't have the Chicago typewriter this would have been a nightmare. Get this guy to attack me. I mean, there's really not really much to say about this game other than it's a fantastic game, you know. I, yeah, I mean, I kind of wish I was playing the HD version. Cause it just seems like like it's more appropriate. But this this version I'm playing this modified. I don't want to. What am I doing? Lady, and also, it's like I spend most of my time like reason why I'm very quiet because I'm concentrating a lot. That's what I do a lot when I'm playing this game. I'm like, I am just focused on trying to beat this game or try to focus on like the puzzle or something. I don't remember what, what this was for. Wow. I believe I can remember a lot of these things. Offering to the line. I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Because then I have to go back up and then I go inside the castle. There's a lot of bullshit inside corridors right here. And you realize as you're playing through the game that a lot of this stuff is reused from the beginning of the game, but. There we go. Where is this? Where, where is the fucking chainsaw guy? He's gotta be in the maze somewhere. Oh, hey, there they are. There's actually the Chainsaw Girls. Ah. Uh. Alright, so that guy's dead. Always, they, they have male voices, but why are they talking? Well, they're females, obviously. So, I mean, what the hell's up with that? She's for mine. That's a new one. I like the, the fact that the enemy is so smart to climb up, to climb up everything just to get to you. That's why I think it makes you when you do stuff like this just more insane. Is anyone going on? No?
Uh, time for me to heal. Not enough. Fuck. Well, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Like, so this is one of those rare instances where I'm gonna get surrounded like that, and bad stuff will happen. That was just me being, being too foolish. So. No. But... So let's go all the way down here. Let's see what. So yeah, that's a trap right here. It wasn't any, it's like, if this was in blatant that this is a trap, that's like, it was putting those guys right there. Whew. I mean, ammo. Uh, stuff's coming from the ground. Yeah, you can hear that shit. It's creepy. Most of the time I realize I don't even I don't even have my um my sound on, so I don't even pay attention to what I'm actually uh, well I pay attention to what I'm playing, but I don't pay attention to stuff like oh like if something's coming or not. Uh, I hate this part so much. I guess I'll go through this, and then once I'm done, I can. I guess like um Yeah, once I'm done with this maybe uh I think what I'll do I think I'll just go finish through this chapter and go through this part of the game and then finish it off. And then that's be the end of the video. I'm gonna be a cool guy and let them jump on. Jump on and get the goodies. And like I said, it's, just, it's all this me being very quiet, me not paying attention. It's just me. This is just me how I play. Especially when I'm playing like a very, very intense game like this. So. Oh boy, there's really not much for me to talk about at this point other than this. Then this game is this game is awesome. It's gives you more awesome if you get all the buffs and stuff like that. And I was about to do a taunt. Ah, clipping.
It's like Big Thunder Mountain. Disneyland. It's a ride. Whee! Tap, 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 get up. I completely forgot he had to do that jump. I knew there was a trick to that, to that place. Get this. I'm gonna sacrifice. Go all the way up. Wait, is there anything around here? I think if there is, it's not a big deal because I already got everything I need right here. Why not? Like the campground. No new enemies have spawned. I forgot what you use the dynamite in, but oh well. I remember eventually. Ah, that's about it then. I haven't died. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I think this is a good place to end it right here. Let me just save it. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Sorry for being so silent. It's that this is actually the quality of game that you were dealing with. This is so good. So, um, yeah. So rate, enjoy, and I guess I'll see y'all next week.